Hi guys, so first day I got this done in about a couple hours. Um, it took a lot longer. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and name all the batteries starting with the first negative. So this is a negative terminal of the battery. And we're gonna go crisscross like this until we reach the plus, all right? So I'm gonna put a big negative here and big plus here, all right? And each of these are uh, P, uh, P group, parallel group. They're connected by parallel, you see. And then you got the minus, plus, minus, plus. And then it's going to go to minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, uh, minus. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and plus. So you start with 3.6 volts for these two. And then it's going to be 7.2 when you connect uh, th this four of our. And then, and then once I, c I haven't connected the bottom here. All right. And also, um, I do suggest just using like a masking tape. And just when you work on the battery, especially if you're new to working with batteries, because you never know. You're, you know, there's times where I'm I'm using the solder, and sometimes uh, uh sometimes the solder like drips or something, and I've had shorts. There's sometimes weird things that can happen. So just cover up everything with the masking tape while you work on it, and you can just go ahead and uh, uh, take it out. All right. Um. Also, I forgot to tell you. Um, before you begin doing any of this, um, you should have actually uh, made sure your vo your batteries are exact same voltage so when I started all the batteries were at near full volts uh, it doesn't have to be exact but make sure they're sort of somewhat similar that way you start with balanced batteries uh, even though you are gonna use a battery balancer um, these balancers are not designed to like for example balance a battery that's like you know three volts and you know, some batteries are four volts. Then you might have trouble even using the balancers. These balancers are not that efficient, unless you're using like a smart ba balancer. But I want to put the smallest balancer, and most of these balancers actually just, you know, they balance really slow. So let's actually go ahead and measure out the voltage real quick uh, once you connected this. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the first negative. And you see, I get 3.96, all right? And then the second P group. 3.94 and from uh, here to here 3.91 all right from here to here 3.91 and from here to here 3.96 and here to here 3.96 here to here 3.93 uh, and here to here 3.93 and here to here 3.91 and here to here 3.97 and here to here 3.93 and here to here 3.93 so they're all within like you know around 3.9 something so pretty good to go now if your batteries at this point is not balanced like this like let's say you have three volts, one of them, you know, a few of them are at like really low volts, like 3.2 volts and the rest are full volts. I actually do recommend uh, charging those up individually. Um, you can just solder up a wire to like a power supply and do it. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Just look on YouTube. But like I said, once you're done checking the voltages, just cover up anything that's exposed. I'm gonna go ahead and first work on the top. So I'm gonna just cover up all the bottom here just just because even if you're really careful and stuff it's just better to cover up this masking tape tape this painter tape costs nothing cover up cover up all these things so no matter what you're not gonna short your battery because you know I spent like four or five hours on this already and if I have a short and it's something just you know shorts <clears throat> that means you're gonna have to rebuild everything possibly so I'm just gonna go ahead and work with 
uh, this right here. And the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need the tabs out, not for the negative, but for all of these. This is a main negative, main, main positive, so I don't need... Um, do I need it? Yeah, I do need it. Um, so I'm gonna need, I'm gonna make balance uh, for the balance leads, right? And as far as the balance leads, they don't have they don't carry a lot of current because you're just charging. And I'm also gonna bypass BMS. But for the main terminal, you'll wanna uh, use a thicker gauge wire, which we'll do. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect a, a little tab that looks like like this. And let's actually go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna connect it. Oops. Be careful. I'm gonna connect it to all of them. This is just for my battery balancer. And actually, you know what? For the positive, don't connect it. So imagine this is gonna, these are gonna connect and these two are gonna connect. So I just need uh, one coming out of here, uh, four of these and here. You'll see what I mean here. So I'm gonna connect it to the positive, so sorry, the negative. <clears throat> because um, when I connect it to the positive, um, you can connect it to one one of the sides. But if you're in the middle, you're going, um, you're sort of risking short there. So I like to connect it always to the to the negative side. Let's actually make sure my things on there correctly. All right. Right, that's on there and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up a few more of these and uh, we'll continue part what was that now part six part seven uh, will be where I connect I'm gonna go ahead and use a thicker thicker wires to connect these two I might actually I might actually uh, solder a, a spot weld another nickel plate over connecting these and these um, and then we'll go on from there. But yeah, looking pretty good. Nice progress.